Stay tuned for my picks in the Sweet 16 round of the NCAA March Madness. Thanks, Elizabeth. The NCAA March Madness is certainly underway. 64 teams entered and now only 16 remain. The Sweet 16 round tips off tonight at 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. So let's take a look at what we can expect. Starting in the East, Ohio State versus Kentucky. Ohio State came in here as the number one team in the NCAA. However, Kentucky has their youth. But I still pick Ohio State over Kentucky. Next, we have the Virginia Commonwealth University versus Florida State. This is the first time in 14 years that double-digit team standings have made it to the Sweet 16 round. I pick Virginia Commonwealth. Finally, rounding up the West, we have Duke versus Arizona. Duke has Kyrie Irving, the, num the potential number one NBA draft pick for this year. Unfortunately, I pick him to completely take advantage of Arizona. Now to the Southwest. Kansas versus Richmond. Kansas has the most dynamic twins the NCAA has ever seen, Marcus and Markeith Morris. They should be able to completely overrule Richmond. I just don't think Richmond can handle the twins. Finally, our last division, Southeast, Butler versus Wisconsin. Butler, again this year, is the Cinderella team. However, that shouldn't come as a surprise. Last year, as the 12th ranked team, they made it all the way to the NCAA championship game. Hopefully, their experience can help them against Wisconsin. Last game, Bingham Young University versus Florida. This brings us to one of the most hyped up players in the NCAA, Jimmer Fredette. He plays for Bingham Young University. Unfortunately, if Florida cannot stop him, he will run right into the Elite Eight with his team on his back. Back to you, Elizabeth. The CWHL Championships have officially begun. Toronto and Brampton are playing right now in Barrie, Ontario in the first game of the tournament. Next on the ice, the Montreal Stars take on the Minnesota Whitecaps at 6 p.m. Local Ottawa resident Sharon Kelly plays for the Stars. Forced to switch after the Ottawa Senators folded, she is thrilled to get the chance to play for the Clarkson Cup. Um, it's very exciting. Uh, last year I was on an Ottawa team that was cut from the program. We didn't make it to playoffs, um, so I'm very excited. This team has uh, worked very hard all year and I just I can't wait to get there. It's going to be so exciting. Kelly says the team has been preparing for this all year and she's confident they can win the championship. Hopefully, experience from some Canadian gold medalists, like their goalie, Kim St. Pierre, will help them. Basically, I've just uh, been training, uh, getting ready mentally, just being a happy, clear mind, stretching out just to make sure that uh, I'm loose for the game. And... Uh, yeah, that's about it. She also hopes the team's advertising efforts will help sell more seats. The CHL is not well known. Um, I think it's been publicized well through our team. I um, wish that it was done uh, better, though, so that we could put women's hockey on the map. So basically, I think that it's been advertised well through the hockey world. Whether Kelly is playing for millions of fans or an empty arena, nothing will take away her pride as she steps on the ice in the first round of the Clarkson Cup playoffs. Grace Protopapis, CJTV News, Ottawa.